And speaking of ESPN, I always looked at that as like, that's how they're going to hold on to the cable package, to the traditional bundle. And it feels like it's becoming a real weak point for Disney. Look, you listen to like an investor conference call, like an earnings call for Disney, and virtually every question is on ESPN. I mean, you, people are actually apologizing. Like, I have another ESPN question because it's the question that just doesn't go away. And, and the problem is, is that ESPN doesn't own its content. You know, you're going to shoot this video, Business Insider's going to own this content. You actually own it and mm -hmm. control it, can monetize it however you want to. The problem with ESPN is that they're a renter of content. They actually don't. The, the, the biggest content they own actually themselves is Sports Center, which has really been devalued in a world where, you know, turn on Twitter and you've got sports scores yeah. coming out of your ears. So the content that ESPN has, the, the stuff that's really high profile, they rent. And the problem with renting is all of these people with deep pockets that we were just talking about, what steps, I mean, it's not so crazy to think of an Apple or an Amazon taking over Monday Night Football in 2022. Absolutely not, it makes perfect sense. If you wanna take the highest profile, if you wanna destabilize the whole ecosystem, literally shatter the traditional media ecosystem, the best way to do it would be to get football because football, to your point on ESPN, sports is what's holding the whole linear bundle together. You attack sports and this whole thing shatters. and so. I don't think it's crazy at all, and so ESPN has falling subscribers, but remember, they've locked in their costs, so they pay the NFL more mm -hmm. every single year, they pay the NBA more every year, they pay all these sports rights, keep escalating, they've got lower viewership because less people are watching linear TV, especially things like SportsCenter, and they've got fewer subscribers because cable subscribers, probably a lot of the people as I look around your office, um, given their demographics, are probably unlikely to be subscribers. You know, I think the you know the younger generation is just not signing up for cable, and even yeah. even older generations are looking at it, going, "What am I paying $120 a year from?" When, you know, I mean, like, what's what's to watch right now on network television? You know, it's the summer. You're probably watching Netflix or Amazon. Like, why are you subscribing to linear television? And I think it's leading to an acceleration of cord cutting that ESPN has no answer for.